Hello dear watch lovers and welcome to another video. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. This will be like a cautionary tale. It's one of those, I was stupid, I got scammed. So don't be stupid like me. Don't get scammed in the same way. Anyway, I got sent the shittiest Rolex fake ever. But the funny thing is, I didn't order a fake Rolex. Like, when I was doing the order, Rolex was the, the furthest thing on my mind, you know? So, why don't we start with an, with an unboxing of this, like, how should we call it? It's not a beauty. To be honest, it's a piece of shit, so... Let's start with unboxing of this, of the shittiest Rolex fake, Rolex fake ever. So, we get, like, cardboard box made to look like like leather it's plastic of course like a like a layer of plastic on on the cardboard and are you ready you've never seen an unboxing like this like i'm sure you've never seen it so here we go and we have what is it what is it it's the kermit and you can see like whoa that wonderful tick tick oh my god so let's see let's get it out of the box nothing there's a shitty pillow like not good quality not good quality at all so basically what you get is the those cheap quartz Rolexes that you get on the side of the street you can buy them for like I don't know for five bucks Nobody buys these things. I see them everywhere. Everywhere on the street. Like like people selling, like people that throw down a blanket on the sidewalk and they sell shit like this. And nobody buys it. And there's a reason why nobody buys it. I mean like, look at it. Okay, I guess, I guess if you, if you have a serious problem with your eyes, like if you have blurry vision, if you take off your glasses and look at it like, okay, you can be tricked by other, by, there's no other way that anyone would take this thing seriously. Let's see, it has, so teeny. Of course, it's not stainless steel. Probably something like magnesium or nickel or, I don't know, something or, I don't know what, something that has been chromed, but not stainless, for sure. We have, <laughs> this is so funny, I'm sorry. Oh, we have the coronet right here. It actually looks okay. <laughs> actually, it looks kind of passable, <laughs> but the bracelet is shit. It's one of those old-timey bracelets that you need to use like a like a hammer and a chisel if you want to size this thing. I have tried. I have seriously tried and it wouldn't budge. Like you have to smash the shit out of it to remove any of these links. But anyway, nothing much to say about it. It's a sh it's a it's really a piece of shit that you wouldn't even use in a in a high school play production. It wouldn't pass even, even even as a prop in a high school play. But let's get back to the story. So, this shitty $5 fake, quartz fake, this ended up costing me 50 bucks. Okay, let's go back. This happened for like eight, nine months ago. And I was ashamed to talk about it. Honestly, I was ashamed because I felt stupid. So let me, let's go back. I was just scrolling along on Lazada, which is the app that they use for shopping here in Thailand. That one is owned by AliExpress. So basically everything works the same as in AliExpress. So I'm just scrolling along on Lazada and one day I see this infantry watch. I've never heard of an inf infantry watch, but the pictures, 
granted they were not real pictures they were renders but on the pictures it had like it looked exactly like the Hamilton khaki field mechanical exactly the same the renders looked pretty good and it was around like 48 bucks let's round it off 50 bucks it's important like 1430 baht Thai baht because I'm in Thailand right so I ordered that one okay why not fuck it what's 50 bucks it looks good and it had like in the specs it said Seiko NH35 so okay 50 bucks for a Seiko NH35 looks like the Hamilton couldn't be that bad right so let's see so I ordered it up I gave them my work address and I'm waiting I'm waiting every day for the for the Hamilton lookalike to come but nothing and after a few days like they give you like an estimated arrival time and on the day that it was supposed to arrive I got a cancellation like your order was cancelled ah okay and I always use COD cash on delivery so nothing lost okay I didn't care and I checked out, like I see, I scroll down, I see at the seller, it didn't have a name, it was just a random like numbers and letters, like a mix, like A2BW78AX, something like that, like, like a long string of like 20 random characters. So okay, obviously a fake guy, probably fishing for like somebody to pay up front, and he wouldn't send and he would just pocket the money. But okay, oh, and I felt smart, like, ah, that's why I always use COD. Nobody can trick me like that. But a funny thing happens, like the week after that, like four days after I got the cancellation, I'm just sitting at work and I get a call. The delivery company calls me, your package came. I'm like, package? What? What are you talking about? Your package came. So let's see, I go to the gate and I meet that one and he gives me a box, my name on the box, my work address, hmm, it all looks legit, the delivery company that Lazada uses and all that, all legit. I check my, my the app in my phone, I didn't place an order, so, like what? But I see, so the one that got cancelled, as as you may remember was 1430 baht and I see this box and it says on the box the same amount 1430 baht so I'm like hmm okay maybe the guy got mixed up something maybe the, the guy just got mixed up and he sent it again okay no harm no harm done I give him the money and I take the box I, I go back to my office and I I, I look at the I look at the seller it's a different name not the same seller that canceled the order on me before it was a completely different seller and the same pattern like a random string of numbers and letters hmm I'm thinking like did I just get screwed am I the dumbest motherfucker in the world like what was I thinking so I just rip open the box that it came in, the cardboard box, and I see, and I see this box. I open it up and like, and I just froze, like, what the? I just didn't know what to, how to react. And like, there are people, people around me in the office, all my coworkers there. I just wanted to start to smash it down on the floor and start screaming. But like, there are, my co-workers are around me, don't make a scene. They were kidding me, like, you know? And like... Uh, I just threw it back in the box. And I went outside on the parking lot, which is my smoking spot. I went there to get a smoke and I, I actually screamed at the parking lot. I really, I actually screamed. It was that bad. And what could I have done? Like, I don't know, but see. So scams can take on many different faces. 
like you would expect, like somebody would promise to sell you an item and they would sell you, they would send you something different and they would take the money. But this guy, no, this one went even further. He canceled the order and he went on and he made another fake profile on the, on the selling app. And I don't know how, how is that even possible? How did he make the order from my name, from my account? Because on the box, it had everything like the shipping label, everything. It had my name, it had an order number. But on the app in my phone, there was no record of it. So how could the guy have done it? Like that messes me up. If the app is so easy for people to abuse it, like what? Like, I don't know. It's a serious issue. So the takeaway of it, it was my fault. I ended up spending 50 bucks on a $5 piece of garbage. So please, if you ever find yourself in a situation like that, if sometimes the delivery guy calls you up and tells you that your order is here and you didn't order nothing, just decline. Don't be stupid like me. Don't think like, well, maybe, maybe it will be. No, it won't. No, it won't. Because people, people are not very nice, especially on the internet. When you see people with no rating, with no nothing, with no record, not trustworthy. I know. I know that we all want to believe that people are good. I want to believe that people are good. I give people chances all the time, but you know what happens? I get screwed over like constantly, all the time. That what, that what goodwill gives you. So if, if there is no like, is, if there is nothing to show you that somebody is trustworthy on the internet, don't believe them. Don't believe nobody. They need to have a record. You need to see. Trust needs to be earned on the internet. It's not something that is given. You cannot just blindly trust that people will be good. Because people are not. Anyway, I hope that my story amused you. And remember, if a package comes for you that you didn't order, just say no. Those are the wisest words ever. Just say no. Thank you for your attention. Have a nice day. Have a nice evening. Have a nice morning. Whatever time this video may find you. Because we are on YouTube time now. So it can be whenever, whatever, whatever year it may be. Until next time. See ya.